all of these passages, I'm, I'm going to read three passages quickly right now. And all of these passages are ones I've t- talked about in different sermons at different times, but I don't think I've ever talked about them back to back to back because I want you to hear all of these kind of in order. First, God commands us to mix it up, so to speak, to take the gospel to the whole world. Matthew 18, uh, 28, sorry, chapter 28, verses 18 through 20. Jesus came near and said to them, all authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go, therefore, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I've commanded you, and remember, I am with you always till the end of the age. God commands us to mix it up. And then he tells us where. Acts 1.8, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, close in, and Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. Does that mean we're supposed to go to Jerusalem, do ministry? Probably not for most of us. It, the principle is start where you're planted. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And he tells us how to mix it up in a lot of different ways, but I love 2 Timothy 2.2, 2, one of my favorite verses. What you have heard from me, Paul writes to Timothy, what you've heard from me, Timothy, in the presence of many witnesses, pass this on to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. That's how we're to mix it up. All of us, not just Brett, not just Pat, not just the staff, not just Bill Smith, all of us every sector. Go into all the world and make disciples. That's a challenge for every one of us 